Hey everybody, it's Jason, and I'm here with my first update to my September Melts box. Some of the items that are in here were not in my September box. I had melted them before because I didn't really start my September box till about halfway through the week, so some of it's just kind of random stuff. But first thing I wanted to start off with, when I did my September box, I said I wasn't going to pick out specific candles, but I did end up go ahead and doing that. So this is what I want to finish off this time around. The first one is Raspberry Zinger from Candles by Victoria. This is an 8-ounce candle. You can see it's about halfway gone. Also from CBV, I have Enchanted Apple, and this one is a 9-ounce candle, and it's probably two-thirds of the way gone. Or two-thirds of it's left, I mean. This one is from CBV. This one was the Banana Coconut Cream Dream candle, and the only part that's left is the bottom part, which I think is Granny's Pie Crust, but it might be Graham Cracker Crust. Not really sure exactly. Um, this one, I just blew it out, so it's still kind of wet, but this is the Black Label candle in Salty Dog. So, um, this one, it kind of smells like juicy fruit and like spices. It's very interesting. This isn't really a candle, but it's something that I've had for a long time. This is a Scoopsum scent, and it's in the scent Cucumber Melon. And so I want to go through this. I doubt that I'll finish this entire thing, but I at least want to continue to melt it because I haven't really reached for it in a long time. From Tiffany Candles, I have this Woodwick candle in Black Raspberry Vanilla. And I'm not really a fan of Tiffany's Woodwicks, or maybe it's just this scent, but I can't really smell anything at all when it's burning, but I like the way that the um, the woodwick crackles, so that's going to be fun. And then I have this Bahama Fizz candle from Bath & Body Works. This one, it's not so great. The wicks are really, really low, and it takes a long time to get a full melt pool, but I really love the scent, so I'm hoping that this thing will burn all the way down to the bottom and the wicks won't die here in a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so... First off, I finished a candle from Candles by Victoria, the Mango Sorbet candle that I had. Um, I love this scent. Super, super juicy mango. It's absolutely perfect. I will definitely need to order some more of this in the future. Super duper strong, even for this little bitty opening. Loved it. Okay, moving into tarts that I finished off. I finished off this bag from Sky Soy Candles and Crispy Donuts. It had about half of the bag full when I started, and it was palm wax, these little bitty cubes. I had to use about a quarter of this entire bag each time I melted it to really get kind of a light medium scent through. I'm not really a fan of the scent, and I think it's just the wax that I don't like. I don't know, it just, it has kind of a weird base note to me, and then it's kind of like a not very sweet, um, donut type of scent, so not really a fan of that one. From Yankee, I did a votive in Grapevine and Oak. This one was interesting. It's kind of a light, clean cologne type of smell, but it's not very strong at all. In fact, this one barely had a scent throw, so it's not one that I would grab, grab again. From the Bath Cafe, I uh, did a couple of sticks in Swedish Kish. I do really like her sticks as far as like the consistency of them because they do snap whenever you break them, but they didn't really have that strong of a scent throw. This one was just kind of a clean fruity type of scent, so I got those out of a round robin or something, so anyway. For both Save on Frey, I melted lemon cream, and these were little ice cream scoops. It's an okay scent. It's not really that strong. Something about it kind of smells a little bit like chocolate, though. So it's like chocolate and lemon mixed together. So I have another bag of that in my round robin box that I have. Um, it's okay. For my candle box, I did Fruit Punch Hard Candy. I actually put this in two different warmers at the same time just to see how it would do because I had an entire two ounce bag. I put half of it in my Scentsy Warmer and the other half in my Glade Warmer. And together, they had a nice medium scent throw, but I tried it by itself in the Glade Warmer to start out with and it wasn't really performing very well. So then I added the Scentsy and it, it was nice after that, so it just took a little bit to, to get a scent throw. From Tiffany Candles, Blackberry Jam. I threw the entire scent shot into my 24 watt warmer. Love, love, love this scent. 
It's like a super sweet, juicy blackberry. Wonderful. It doesn't smell perfumey, so that was really nice. From Rose Girls, Snow White's Honey Crisp Apple. And I was really excited to melt this one. I'm pretty sure that I ordered a bag of this in my August order. I absolutely loved this scent. It's like a really awesome apple scent. It's got like Macintosh apple, but I think it also has green apple in it. It's got some like some really, really sweet scent in the background of it, and I absolutely loved it. Performed great in my Glade warmer. Okay, from Lasting Scent Candles, Island Spun Sugar. I'm melting this one right now. It's like super, super sweet. Um, I wouldn't say it necessarily smells like cotton candy, but it's like got, it smells kind of like um, a really juicy gum, maybe? Like watermelon bubblicious or something like that. Yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. It's super awesome. Okay, from Candles from the Keeping Room, Wild Elderberry. I talked about this scent before. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Um, it's kind of... It's like a really tart berry, and it's got like a really strange note to it that I'm not really a fan of. I don't know, I'm just, I think it's just elderberry in general, I'm just not a fan of, so that one wasn't, it performed really well, but it just wasn't a great scent to me. Bodatus from Kindles in the Keeping Room. This one, the more I melt it, the more and more I like it. At first, when I started melting it, I wasn't really a fan of it, but now it's like it reminds me more and more of like a really nice soap type of smell, so I'm really liking it now, and I'm glad that I have a like 8 ounce bag in it. And then Raspberry Vanilla Cream from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is the first Candles from the Keeping Room that I tried in a in the Glade Warmer instead of a 24 watt. Worked wonderful. I thought it wasn't performing barely very well at first, but after about like an hour, hour and a half of it melting, it was really nice and strong. It's just a really nice tart raspberry with like a little bit of vanilla, but it's more like a hard candy type of raspberry. There's not a whole lot of cream in there. So, but again, that was really nice in the Glade Warmer. From Front Porch, I did Pink Fuzzy Navel, and this one is like a, um, it's pink sugar orange and peach, I think. It mostly smells like orange, so it smells a lot like a, um, like a dreamsicle type of scent. It's got like a little bit of pink in it, but not very much, and then just like barely any peach, but like I said, it's mostly orange. I finished a four pack in Watermelon Splash. This is a scent that's okay, but it's not one that I'm probably going to reorder again. I don't know, I think it's the way the watermelon mixes with the front porch base. It's just very strange to me, so. And I think part of it too is like, I prefer more of like a candied watermelon, like super sweet. This one's not very sweet, so it smells more like what a real watermelon smells like. So I'm not really a big fan of that. From Granny's. Coco Mango. This was a clamshell that I got out of a round robin, I think, or a de-stash. I melted two cubes of this at first and got nothing from it. So then I put, then I, the next time I melted it, I put four cubes in and got a light medium scent throw. I think it's a Bath and Body Works dupe, but I mean, it didn't perform very well and it may have just been the clamshell because I've heard like her clamshells aren't very good in general, so it may have been that, but that was one that was not in my September box that I melted before. And this is also one that wasn't in there. This uh, was the scent trend from Scentsy in Violet Leaf. This scent is not good on its own, in my opinion, because it's like a really strong floral. But I mixed it with Posy Peach every time I melted it, and those two work wonderfully together. The Violet Leaf like really sweetens up and brings out more of the juiciness from the peach. So I really love those two mixed together, but this one is not one that you'd want to mix melt on its own because <laughs> it's really, really strong. So yeah, so that was my update number one to my September melts. As always, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.